I'm Kevin McCormley of Kiplinger's, here to delve into what seems to be a never-ending debate among investors. Which is better, actively managed mutual funds or index funds? Here to make the case for actively managed funds, Manny Schifres. When modern mutual funds were invented about 100 years ago, the point was to give individuals access to professional investment managers at a reasonable cost. When you invest in such a fund, you and a bunch of other investors are hiring a pro to invest your money. By studying companies and using a variety of strategies, fund managers and analysts aim to buy stocks in companies that will prosper, stay away from those that will stumble, and know when to sell to capture profits. And indeed, some funds produce astounding results. In 2010, for example, the Standard & Poor's 500 Stock Index, an off-sided proxy for the overall market, produced a total return of 15%. But the best actively managed funds delivered far more. In fact, 170 U.S.-oriented stock funds produce total returns of 30% or more. That's the promise of actively managed funds, market-beating performance. If you have the time, interest, and ability to select a group of funds with top managers, you can put together a portfolio that serves you very well. Thanks, Manny. And now for index funds, Nellie Huang. No doubt about it, Manny's right. Some actively managed funds beat the market, but the fact is most of them don't. In 2010, just 37% of large company stock funds beat the return of the S&P 500 index. The rest fell short. So it's no surprise that in the 1970s, a new idea was born. Rather than trying to figure out which stocks to buy, buy them all. Thus was born the index fund. An S&P 500 index fund, for example, owns every stock in the index. A computer program figures out how much of each one to buy, and the fund basically operates on autopilot. One reason index funds routinely beat most actively managed funds, in fact, is that running a computer is a lot cheaper than paying hotshot stock analysts. The average expense for a diversified U.S. stock fund is about 1.3% of assets per year. But you can buy an index mutual fund that charges less than two-tenths of 1%. The promise of matching the market might not make for exciting cocktail party talk. But if you use index funds, you won't have to invest as much effort in picking them. And Odds are you'll beat investors in active funds anyway. I hope this debate helps you decide which kind is best for your portfolio.